Yeah, I'm just a casual. <laughs> I'm just a casual. All right, we got a cloud coming out. Another cloud. Anna. Oh, yeah, it's T3 Dumb, so we got the Belmonts coming through. And we are on our commentator's cam. We, of course, on the microphone, CT Lux and Irritated Index calling game one between Brian and T3 Dumb. What's up, everybody? Yeah. Oh, that just press B tag. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's so true. No, that's actually not that true because it's just like being Yo. able to aim those aerials is really hard to do. But is it not? Is it? Is it too one true? Oh my God! T3 Dumb putting in the work right there. I thought we were gonna see some Twitter combos with the down air to up B uh, scenarios going on, mm. but he's making it happen. Oh, okay, caught him. Good pressure coming out. I mean, he just like he just pressured with a short hop, and sometimes that's like a really good option, you know, just to scare them and make right. them do something. And their shield's dwindling all the while, so if, you know you can wait. You're just waiting for a shield poke mm. to come through. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is also true. Oh, oh! I thought he was gonna get hit by that. Oh, force. he went for. Oh my god, that down smash covered so much ground. I always forget. Yeah, he's it's a little really trouble good. now. Oh man, that picked up. <laughs> that was a good projectile, let me tell you, because that one sealed his fate for sure. Yeah, that's hard. That's actually rather hard to do against a character like Richter. But I mean, actually, uh, the way that he has to recover, he kind of just like swings in. So I, I could see why that would hit him. And he sniped him out with the aerial, and he closed out the stock. But already, you know, yeah, Brian putting on a huge lead. That was a good dash attack as well. Yeah. You know, and when we're talking about the Belmonts, of course, it's always important to point out. Playing them with the lead is a lot different than playing them from a deficit. So mm, when yeah. you have some momentum against them, things seem to be going your way. It's so when you're having to come from behind and trying to get through the wall, it feels like you're running into a wall. Yeah, it, it makes people get really aggro. It's like, okay, now I'm ahead. Now I can just like really wail on him because I don't want to get worked on at the uh, edge anymore. Yeah, Brian's a madman. I don't know if you saw that. He went for a tomahawk uh, down special, <laughs> like a <laughs> finishing touch. <laughs> Jeez. At that percent, I mean, I guess go for it, right? Why not? But I suppose I, I, I want to see people get some actual like confirms into that because I know they're there. I just don't know what they are. Yeah, who needs confirms when you got reads though? Yeah, true that. <laughs> it, honestly, that's the truth, man. Like, why would I want a good combo game when I can just have a good punish game? Seriously, if you know where they're at at all times. Just throw it out. It didn't work that time, so yeah. you're right. You should probably confirm into it. But <laughs> look at this. Oh, oh man! You always think you always think it's over, and you forget that he has that second hitbox. Yeah. Okay. A little matchup knowledge catching him, catching him a little off guard. I like the mix-ups from Brian. Like he he does things a little differently every time. Like uh, like the last time he went for that dash attack and it was successful, and then he, he didn't go for it this time. It's I don't know. I, I, I like what I see from mm -hmm. Brian. Okay. Oh, oh, not enough to recover. But that was a really quality stock from living up to 165. Yeah, big time. I thought for sure he was gonna make that. Okay, uh, that was such an aggro approach, and it worked. Yeah, sometimes you got to make the magic happen against the against the Belmonts. Yeah. yeah. They tell you that there are uh, three steps of beating the Belmonts, right? Step one is believe in yourself. Step two is to get the goods, and step three is to make the magic happen. Sometimes you got to make the magic happen and go in. Where? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I just want to know where you heard that. Yeah. Like, I I would love to be on yeah. top of the lore like you are. <laughs> But here we go. He's got him on the knockdown. Limits up. Oh, it's, oh he went the wrong direction. No. <laughs> it's like that. That I don't even know if that would have killed. Uh, honestly. Oh, it would have killed. He's at 128, man, with a cross slash. At, oh, my God. With a little he bit was of so rage. dead. He yeah. just needed to aim in the correct direction, and it would have been over. And now he's getting edge guarded. Yeah. Wouldn't that be a tragedy if he loses because of that whiff? Man, it's almost like that's that's happened before to other players. Yeah. It's almost like. It wouldn't be the last time either, but All it right. looks like. But he's, already, he's restored some order, and he's got his limit back on. And, oh, he went for okay. a gutsy read. He went for the S special in neutral. Interesting. That was and really interesting. He's got to understand, though, T3 Dome's playing a campy character. He's holding shield for his life. Yeah. He's Especially got a pretty cool now. Oh, the, oh, and it did happen. Oh, my God. That's got a, that's a heartbreaker if you've yeah. ever seen one, unfortunately. Yeah, man. T3 Dome. Credit to him, just standing the test and holding it together. Yep. Holding out the number three. Yeah. Oh, boy. That's a shame. That's That really is a shame. He just got a little too uh, antsy and ended up dropping that. Right. But here's here's the test, though. Do you have the mental fortitude to be able to just say, hey, whatever. What, that wasn't game one. This is game one. Right. You know what I mean? And will we, uh, you know, if you have that mental fortitude, 
will he force the first game three that we've been seeing? You know that we'll have tonight. We That'd haven't had nice. one yet. That'd be nice. Yeah, let's get a let's get a competitive match. Let's uh let's take it to the uh, to the brink. So where did you? Where, where, was that like a? Because I've never played Castlevania. Ever. Uh, that was not Castlevania at all. That's just me on life advice. Dude. Oh wow. That's a uh, Lux philosophizing. <laughs> like for those of you who like. Pay attention to what Lux says, because he has a lot of really good things to say. I'm waiting to be flamed on Twitter. or <laughs> Oh, we got our pro controller on right now. Oh, that could have been a problem. D DQ that fool. Yeah, get him out of here. All right, here we go. All right. Game two. And as we were saying, you know, uh, for Brian, he was doing really well. He had that victory in hand almost convincingly. And then he went the wrong direction, and T3 Dome stole it like a thief in the night. And uh, so about that mental fortitude. Oh, that's not good. That's this is like the wheels coming off, unfortunately. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Got a nice little confirm there. That ooh, okay, getting some damage going. Maybe he's cocky. He's like, I don't even need that stock. I'm just gonna prove to you because right now it's juggling. Oh, that's the first hit he's taking the whole entire uh, match, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Okay, now he's getting hit a little bit more. Can you believe that? You know, you put on 90 damage and answer, but you're actually losing because <laughs> you just jumped off at the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks, man. That was so unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I respect the cross slash off stage trying to catch the recovery. Yeah, because it is a pretty fast option when you just shoot right back on. T3 yeah. yeah. Dome might be having a little controller malfunction looking at his controller and frustration mm -hmm. just there for a second, but he's battling right back in, and Brian, again, has all the momentum in the world like a raging bull of like true to his tag name, right? Toro? Ooh, look at this. Oh, yeah, I guess I don't yeah. Or he's a Taurus. It's one of the two. Yeah, something like that. Either way, it's a bull, right? Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Speaking of bull, <laughs> Ooh. Oh. connecting the back air into cross slash, doing a billion damage. That's what Cloud does. That's why I'm just like, how can people say this is a bad character? Cloud is yeah. super good. T3 Dome uh, was kind of in red alert mode, not really sure <gasps> what was going on. Oh, that was an aggressive. Gets the down smash. Love that. Yeah. I love that he didn't sit there and shield. I love that he just ran right through it because he knows it's laggy. Right. If you're going to go, you're going to go boldly if you want to win. He did. He did. He did. It, it, he has deed. <laughs> He's pretty much even. Oh, uh, uh, okay. I didn't curse it yet. Or did I? Or did I? Oh, I there did. You did. <laughs> I cursed. There him. was no landing. Yo, if you can hit across the entire stage, how are you supposed to land? That's not fair. Yeah. Let him live, T3 Dome. Yeah, be nice, dude. What's wrong with you? It's almost like you want to win or something. <laughs> right, here we go. And after all that huge momentum, shout outs to T3 Dome holding it down and coming back and battling back into the lead. Things were looking pretty bad for a while there. He was like getting hit left and right, checking his controller, you know, kind of in a daze. But yeah. he was battling his way back and he's got it right back in the driver's seat. Ooh, that double jump was a bit much. I, th I think he gave uh, T3 Dome a little too much space. Look, look, look at what happens from one little mistake. I mean, he's able to bring it back now. I like it. Wow. Did it. He clipped him right there. Worked that and you time. Saw, yeah, you saw T3 Dome trying to just hang there and pray that it finished before he snapped up to the ledge, but might have got a little antsy. Nope. Yeah, got him there. Hey, you know, this this might end up being a little uh, bit of a runaround. You never know. Oh, I, I think that was an attempted cross, cross up. So it's almost a race here. T3 Dome was given a full stock lead to work with at the beginning of this match, yeah. and it's virtually even. Is right. he going to be able to seal out this stock? It all depends on whether or not he's able to capitalize on his spacing. Mm -hmm. It's like he, he he gets in trouble when he gives T3 Dome too much area. Right. Okay, good stuff. Oh, no, going for the cross slash. Another aggressive play. Yeah, yeah you, you can go. tell Brian, he's just raring to go. He has not seen an aggressive option that he did not like. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. But sometimes he pays for those aggressive options. Okay, is it time to recover high? Is it time to recover high? Oh, not enough I to recover. Uh, yeah. Damn. You could you could tell he's a bit more satisfied with that game though, because he didn't. Well, I mean, he did SD at the beginning, but he was still able to throw in a lot of. Yeah, uh, he made a run for it. I thought it was over. We were talking about fortitude and collapses. As soon <laughs> yeah. as the three, two, one, go, he just jumped off stage. I'm like. Did he forget which character he was? What happened there? 